Hey, this is Councilman Kenny Green. We're out here today in District 2. Today we're going to take you on a brief tour around the district. We're going to show you a few of the things that have happened recently in the district, talk about a few things that are coming up. Today we're going to highlight the opening of the new Golden Chick, uh, which, you know, a few weeks ago reopened after being rebuilt. Uh, from there we'll move on to the, uh, the drainage ditch over on Emerald that was cleared out. We'll kind of show off that and talk about what's happening with those. Uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about the Real Texas Roads Project and we'll highlight you know, some of the areas where some of the roads are going to be fixed pretty soon. So please join me as we walk along today and take a tour of District 2. All right, I'm here at the brand new Golden Chick. It opened up a few weeks ago here in District 2. It's near the intersection of Gus Thomason and Oates. Uh, this location, if you're familiar with the area, it was a complete teardown and rebuild. Uh, the new property features a nice patio area, so you can come sit outside and enjoy some food there. They do have a nice drive through uh, I've been through here several times myself. I know our mayor has as well. The customer service has been outstanding so far, and the place looks really nice inside, so come on and check it out. Hey, I'm over here off of Emerald. Looking at one of the drainage ditches, I know we have quite a few of these throughout our district and throughout the city. Uh, recently, the city started cleaning these up a little bit. It took a little while, we had to come up with a creative method of how to clean out the vegetation and the trash that was inside of them because, you know, it's not safe for the average person just to walk down in here and try to clean it. So, uh, this is one of many, as you can tell, nice and clean now. Uh, several weeks ago, the mayor uh, was over in this area, helped pick up a little bit of the trash along the outside of it. But as you can see now, we have a nice, pretty clean drainage ditch as far as the eye can see. Uh, we are aggressively working to try to clean up more of these throughout our city. We're over here off of Lagoon Drive in Bahamas. Uh, today we're taking a look at Lagoon Drive in particular because this is one of the roads that's in the next phase of the Real Texas Roads Project. Road work over here is supposed to get started before the end of the year. Uh, it's one of many roads throughout this area that we're fixing. There's quite a few roads on the, the list here. If you look down below me, there's a little graphic that'll show you a link. You can go there and see all the many roads that are being done through the next part of this project. Hey, I'm out here in front of the uh, Albertsons here at Motley in Town East. Uh, this store was recently uh, renovated. You know, they did a complete renovation inside and out. You see the nice, pretty new facade. It's one of the many improvements happening within our district. Uh, you know, during these times that we've been in, one thing that hasn't changed is we all still need groceries. So if you need groceries, I encourage you to shop local. You know, in our district, we've got Albertsons, Kroger, and Aldi are all grocery stores, as well as many other great small businesses here. So I encourage everyone to shop Mesquite and stay within the area. Thank you. Hey, I'm over here in front of Motley Park, as you can see behind me. Uh, this park has been here for quite some time. Uh, this is one of the many areas of opportunity we have within our district that we don't talk about a lot of times. You know, we don't talk about some of the uh, older amenities that we have and the need to upgrade them. Uh, with this park, we have had some discussions, me and the mayor both, uh, with our city manager about this being one of the parks that needs some TLC. Uh, so we are looking to see what we can do as far as, uh, you know, refreshing the park a little bit, trying to bring it back to life because the people in this neighborhood don't really have another option. Uh, you know, if they want to drive to Vance and they could do that, but for the kids that want to walk somewhere and have a place to play basketball, there's not really an option for them right now. So what we want to do is see what we can do in areas like this to try to make things better for the people that live here. Thank you guys all for joining me on this brief tour of our district. I know we didn't show a whole lot of stuff, but nobody wants to hear me speak for an hour, not even myself. So I figured we'd keep it brief, short and simple. Just highlight a few key things. I know in our district we've got many challenges, whether that be from people speeding down our roads, crime issues, street repairs, you know, you name it. There's quite a few things that we've got to keep working on. Uh, you know, as a city councilman, that's one of my focuses is to make sure I'm listening to you, the people, seeing what the needs are in the district and trying to address those as best as we possibly can with our limited amount of resources. If you do have a concern or a question or anything like that, 
I would encourage you to, to contact me. Uh, you'll see my contact information here below me. Feel free to reach out to me. I also encourage you to follow the city on social media, uh, especially the new police department page. Our police department has a Facebook page now. So uh, we encourage you all to interact with the city as much as possible. We're here to serve you.